chicos y chicas, I am Ricardo Laguna and welcome back to my channel as today I am wondering if the house in inventory continues dropping, will it be impossible for you guys to purchase a home? Once again guys, thank you so much for sharing your valuable time to watch this YouTube video and it will mean the world if you guys hit that like button because by you guys hitting that like button it will help this video to get out there so more people can learn from it. And if you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe as I aim to have new episodes every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And if you guys haven't connected my socials, these are my socials. Now that I got that out of the way, well, Realtor.com just came out with the market update for March of 2021. And it looks great for some people, and for some other people, it looks terrible. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, that is because the National Housing Inventory has dropped 52% over the last year. And new listing homes on the market has declined by 20% nationally over the past year, which that means that is terrible news for the people that are looking to purchase a home. But now buyers, don't take this as this is impossible for you guys to purchase on this market. But this might mean that you guys are gonna have to sacrifice couple things to get that dream home of yours. As well, we can't forget that this means that you guys might have to go on a bidding war. And you just got get on with the bidding. Do I have $100? Ooh, stupid question. Uh, 200, 300. To get that home, I'm starting to sound like negative Nancy right here. But at the same time, I do have some good news for you buyers and sellers. Nationally, right now, a home stays in the market for 54 days, which means it is six days lower than last year. Which that will mean that you guys, buyers and sellers, you will know and answer whether you have the deal or not. So sellers, there's a good chance that your house would sell faster than planned. So get those boxes and the movers ready. The March national medium price home is $370,000, up more than 15% compared to last year. Now with that said, I still see plenty of for sale signs out there. Now does this mean that you guys will have plenty of options out there? Probably not as good as previous years, but this doesn't mean that you guys won't be able to have the almost perfect home for you guys to purchase. So most likely this will mean that you guys will might probably have to go out with your realtor more times than planned and probably are going to have to write a lot more offers to get a deal. As for the seller, this is pretty good news because most likely on their first week or second week of their listings, they will have tons of viewings and that would mean that they will have Tons of offers sent their way to pick from. How does the dealio sound to you? Which by the way, if the seller is pricing their home a little too high, that might mean that your home is gonna sit a lot longer than the average 54 days on the market. So homeowners, do your homework, price it right so you can kick your feet up in the air, so you can enjoy plenty of strong offers that you most likely are going to be receiving and enjoy the next chapter of your life. Now, whether that's buying a new home or rent, so you guys become a tenant and you don't have to worry about any maintenance on that home as the landlord will be in charge of that. Or maybe move back with your family. So I have to move back in with my parents. Mm. Yeah. Now, 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 I know most of you guys probably don't like the sound of that, but that would help you guys to start saving a lot more money. Or maybe that would allow you guys to start reinvesting that equity money you gain from selling your home. Uh, uh, I'm going to reinvest my money into the community. Oh, that's a very nice gesture. What were you saying? <laughs> So as that said, guys, if you guys have any questions, please email me. This is my email. And if you guys haven't hit that like button, please hit the like button because it would help this video to get out there to more people so they can learn from it. And if you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe as I aim to have new episodes every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. 
and it will be huge if you guys share this video as well. Now, I am very curious, and as well, I have a huge question. How will home buyer demand affect the home buying with prices going up? Now, the mortgage interest rates are going up by half a percent. Will they continue rising? Will that affect the home buying demand? I guess only time will answer those questions.